Inspiring your child to read is one of the most important things that you can do as a parent. With a love of reading, your child will have one of the key tools for success. Our next guest has found a way of making reading the reading experience inspiring, educational, and fun. She's the author of the new book, The Colorful Alphabet Book. Award-winning journalist Dr. Sabril Bennett joins us now. Many of you all will also recognize her as a former News Channel 5 reporter. Good to see you. You too. How are I, you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm well. No complaints. No complaints? No complaints. All right. Let's catch up quickly here. A lot of folks remember you from, uh, from being here at the station. Yes. Since you left News Channel 5, what have you been doing? I have been the proud leader of the New Century Journalism Program at Belmont University right here in Nashville. Been there for six years years. Has it really been that long? Six years. Wow. I left News Channel 5 in 2003 and now I teach multimedia. Help okay. the students come up to speed with broadcast, print, online. You well know that because mm -hmm. you do radio, you do the website, you do television, you do cable and that's all new to us. Right. We, you know we used to provide content for one medium but most people whether you're sitting at home, whether you're working, whatever the case may be, you need to be aware of these different tools, how to use them, when to use them, whether to use them. Mm -hmm. So we train the students that okay. way. I do workshops and all that good stuff to try to educate people on the new multimedia tools. Has it been great working with the kids? It's been wonderful. Uh -huh. It's been challenging because you think they know a lot of the, the Twitter and yeah. the MySpace and Facebook, yes. But a lot of the other tools that are out there like Mogulus and Skype and Utterly, they have no clue. And so it's been interesting and challenging okay. because they're thinking old school traditional journalism. They really are sometimes hesitant to use the new tools. Mm. Let's talk about the book here. Okay. Uh, you've been wanting to do one for, for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, you, you got this one out, especially with your background in education that you picked up at Vanderbilt, right? Yes. Okay. So, so tell me about the book. Well, the book is the Colorful Alphabet book, and the impetus, the purpose behind it was my dissertation, mm -hmm. my PhD work at Vanderbilt. And basically it looked at race and students of color. Where do they learn about race? Mm -hmm. Well, primarily they were learning from it from the media as opposed to from parents and from teachers. So we need more tools out there for them to see themselves in, po selves in positive ways. And so that's what this book is all about, helping children see themselves in positive ways. And all children, you know, the images deliberately in this book are children of color because when my daughter was little, there were very few books yeah. for her to see herself in a positive light. But her classmates like these types of books as well because it helps us all get along better. All right, especially in the great big melting pot. I'm going to mm -hmm. pick this up here for just a second. But okay. the great big melting pot, it helps them learn more a bit uh, about understanding mm -hmm. there. Uh, there are a couple of shots right there. Yeah. And uh, I I is that your daughter? Well, sh she will tell you it is her. Uh -huh. uh, and I'm not sure if Michael McBride, who did the wonderful illustrations, Michael McBride, I've got to give a shout out to my illustrator. He kind of used Monica and kind of didn't, so, but Monica will tell you, yes, that is me beyond a shadow of a uh -huh. doubt. And it's dedicated to our 44th President of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. O is for Obama, P is for President, B is for Believe, C is for Change. Just positive words. Okay. Because the way that you set a child up is the path that they would traditionally go on, hopefully. You know, everything's not perfect. But as parents, you know, we have that responsibility to hopefully start them off right. And by reading, teaching the letters, teaching positive words. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that'll help our kids along the journey. All right, you got the book. You've got several book signings. Uh, what are the yeah. couple ones that are coming up on book signings? Well, I've got one February the 11th. It's a Wednesday. It's the African American History and Culture Conference that's sponsored by TSU downtown mm -hmm. campus okay. from 11 to 1. And then another one at a Kibalon on 28th and Jefferson on Saturday, February the 28th at 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. And of course, you can get the book on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. And the other way to get the book would be to go to your local bookstore and say you're interested in this book, and they will order it for you. Okay. So demand will cause them to start having them in the quote-unquote brick-and-mortar stores. But again, multimedia, I was able to self-publish this book through Lightning Source. Wow. So I published it Amazing. myself. Amazing. Okay. Correct. And so it's through LightningSource.com. I'm a self-publisher, and they distribute it through the storehouse of Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. And this is all new. You know, this is all yeah. setting everything on its head. I didn't have to go to a traditional publisher and beg them to get my book. Well, super. I, uh, yeah. Well, fa that's fantastic to even learn that oh. you're self-published. So congratulations yeah. there on this. You. Uh, you heard the information about the upcoming uh, book signings that mm -hmm. she's got going on. Also, you can check out our hotline for more information and drsib.com. You'll want to grab a pen and paper to take down today's recipe. Salmon croquettes with pets with... <laughs> 